thing is wrong. The supports are not at top. So they do move in, puts out the cast, big play, Disruptor's gonna lock in Kuroki, Kuroki's gonna get stuck with 430, Ferrari doing some serious damage, one more right click will finish the job, and down he goes, and it could be Puppy as well, Puppy came in, and a huge rotation by Luo confirmed. And we're gonna stick around because it looks like Arteezy came in to try and get it. He's on the run, gets glimpsed backwards, hit with the tombstone. They're on the chase. Arteezy dropping low. Do they have enough to stop him? Faith not interested in going back. He wants to keep the chase going, and they end up getting the kill on Arteezy. But the rest of the crew has shown up, and the chase is on. Faith gonna try to kite away, make a little bit of space by going into the jungle. He drops pretty low. S4 finishes the job. Now it's Chuan going back towards the tower. Hit and taken down. That top lane, Kuroki pushing in, S4 going into the tower, this could be trouble for him, as Rotation comes from the back, goes into the snowball from hell, it catches, it punches, it dices, slices, and makes pizza pie as they get the double kill up on the top lane, Kuroki going into the woods, but what can he do other than just buy a little bit of time? Yeah, it was well, he was keeping pace with the Shadow Fiend in terms of farm about two minutes ago, and now he's at 4.7 compared to the 6.5, and that's going to be very, very tough for him. In comes Zai, goes ahead, does a nice sleight of fist, gets the stun up on Chuan, he's gonna drop down to the rotation from S4. Here comes the rolling ball, gonna crack into Zai, Zai in some trouble, gets stunned, gets knocked out. He's gonna go down with the ulti from Ferrari, S4 lost bottom tower, S4 pops the ulti, wants to go in, Burning sees it coming, pops and quills, and now we should see IG. they're gonna back away or engage, they decide to engage. Luo goes in deep, catches Arteezy, pops him up in the air, he goes down again! Poppy has to run away, S4 is in deep, no one else around, does get the Shadow Fiend, but he's being chased from the back. He slowed, hits the mech, heals himself up. Here comes the Slight Abyss, hits everyone. S4 still very low. He's going to live as he gets away. Zyri can have it. Takes out Luo. Takes so they are going to come in, stand him down. Arteezy looks like he might want to go in here. Throws up the lightning. Goes ahead and hits Faith, but Faith wants to engage. Puts down the tombstone. Science is there. Arteezy locked in. In comes Zai. Going to start bouncing around. Immediately we see the snowball come out. He's going to charge for in Arteezy. Everyone's there. Arteezy taking a lot of damage. He will go down. Faith dropping low. S4 putting in some serious work. And they will lose that. Burning dropping now as well. S4 doing everything he can to try and take out that bristle. Chuan turns back around. S4 is going to hit by the shards. Goes to the TP away. In comes Zai, gets the stun on Chuan. Chuan's gonna drop down, and now the chase is on as they want to kill themselves. Some burning, can burning get away? He cannot. He's hit with the stun. Zai with the right clicks, one more will do the job. Not gonna happen. Heals up, and now it's Zai that could be in some trouble. He's gonna jump away, goes after the remnant, Hut gets to safety, hits the TP. Should be able to get out of this one as the ice shards as he did it. Meanwhile, we go back to the mid where Puppy's leading another charge. Going in for Burning, puts up the mana leak, but they get the stun on Chuan. Chuan's isolated, gets pulled into the snowball. Snowball on the chase for Arteezy. Arteezy hits with the Wawa's punch. Sans is going to come out, buys a little bit of space. He's on the run. He's going to go down. Luo taking some damage now, but the whole team is there. They catch S4. S4 goes down. That's the double. IG feeling pretty good right now as they keep the push going. We will see the disrupt, the glimpse backwards, and again, Witch Doctor is going to be picked up. And it looks like that's what they're up to. Luo, Ferrari, and FaZe looking to make some moves. Blink, and they catch the Razor. S4 in some trouble. Pops the BKB. Can he survive? He comes from the back, comes burning. His BKB is running. They want to finish off S4. He's dropping low. A couple more will do it. They do manage to get him picked off. A good play by them. And now they've managed to get two kills in the course of about a two minutes. And uh, after a very long period of Nana and Boo Boo, you can't touch me. They've shown that they can. Oh, Meanwhile, up on top, Arteezy and Burning going head to head. Burning gets fueled, throw it in the air. The stun's gonna come out. Burning is gonna die. Nice play by Arteezy. Oh, I recall. You see, getting out. No, he does get popped. He's going on Chuan, though. He's not afraid. Wants to go. Chuan's got to back away. Arteezy now on the run. Lots of speed. Gonna get glimpsed backwards. This will be the end of Arteezy. <laughs> fire uh, but so far it is working out for them in comes Zai makes the engagement goes in catches Chuan Chuan in some trouble jumps away comes back slight of fist Chuan low he's gonna drop Luo now inside how comes the silence will it be enough no he's gonna go down but he has the Aegis so he's coming back up as Ford gets up the link wants to go on burning pops the BKB Luo in some trouble caught behind in comes Ferrari to try to make the fight happen pops the ultimate doing a lot of damage but he is in the middle of enemy territory Kuroki now on the run dropping pretty low they end up killing Ferrari Faith now all the run gets hit with the stun he is going to go down here as well and that's going to be a four man plus an aegis for a witch doctor down. they're going to start to push in arteezy and Zai lay into the middle tower while up on top the creeps are going to be pushed up with s4's help onto the top tower and uh now we see Zai going down towards bottom so it's a three front assault here you can stop one but you can't stop us all as the tactic secrets going for as they start to really lean on these towers and they may actually get all three 
Divided we stand. Divided we stand. That is exactly the name. That, that was secret strategy from the start in this game. And it's working out for him. Arteezy putting a ton of tower damage into here. We already lost the top tower. We're going to lose the ranged racks down the bottom. We see an engagement that is going to go in on the Amber Spirit. So Zai gets a tower and almost a racks. But ends up going down. He buys back. Wants to come back into this. Nice play with the glimpse. Pulls back Arteezy. He's going to go ahead and get the stomp up. Catches two. But Walrus punches the face. The heels are too strong. Lulo goes down. Bristleback drops. The tombstone means nothing to Zai as he eats his way through it. Buyback from the Bristle, and it looks like Secret will disengage at this point. Nice play by Secret. They got in, but it's not over because 430's got the blink. Comes in on Puppy. Puppy dropping pretty low. Pops the BKB, but help from Kuroki. Says, you won't kill my puppy, and instead, I will kill your dirge. And Ferrari. Ferrari on the run. He's going to go down as well. It's another triple. No buybacks. GG from IG. And Secret plays keep away until they take the racks, break the high ground. Such well execution on the way they play the game. And yesterday, C9 was was doing the same thing, but it wasn't so well executed.